Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will present an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. Hi, I'm Susan, a docent at the museum, and today I'd like to present Wind Sculpture Second Generation Number 9 by Yinka Shanabar. You can find this near the front entrance accessible ramp. It's part of our new and growing number of installations on the museum grounds and art climb steps. Hard to miss at nearly 23 feet tall, this vibrant hand-painted swirl of purple, orange, and turquoise is made of fiberglass over a steel frame. The artist tells us he imagined making the movement of the wind visible through a sculptural form. Shanabar's imagination was spurred by another work of his titled Nelson's Ship in a Bottle. The idea of transforming sails into sculptures standing on their own inspired wind sculptures. The sails of that work are made of batik fabric. Batiks are textiles dyed using wax to prevent dye from coloring some areas. The process can be repeated many times to create complex designs of many colors. Shonabar's use of this fabric is a signature element of his work. As a commissioned piece, our wind sculpture is unique in that Shonabar selected a group of hand batiked Javanese patterned fabrics from the museum's collection on which to take his inspiration. The use of material thought to originate on the island of Java in Indonesia and introduced to Africa by Dutch and British traders before being adopted and made their own by African artists is seen by Shanabar as a metaphor for the multi-layered identity most people have. Shanabar himself has a multi-layered multi identity. Born in London, he was raised in Lagos, Nigeria from age three before returning to England at 18 for further education. What a fantastic banner to inspire and welcome people of all identities to our museum. What gestures do you or your family extend to others to welcome them? What makes you feel welcome? We hope to welcome you soon here at the museum.